welcome. This is Wide Range Media. Um, I'm your host, Pablo. And I'm your host, Alex Figueroa. And we're doing a new video today. This is different than what we normally do. If you tune to our videos, our weekly podcast, which is now a YouTube video, um, we thought of doing something different. Um, we're going to review this game that came out, came out this past year, um, and it's called Clutch Baseball. And it's a card game. And the reason why we're doing this is because we both grew up playing card games. Um, games like Magic the Gathering and all those popular collectible card games. And when we were growing up, there was this game by Wizards of the Coast called MLB Showdown. And it was a fun game. It was a really, really, really cool game. And But that got discontinued. And then this game came along this year, which is based on the rules of MLB Showdown. So we thought that we, we would review it. Um, we'll do a actual playthrough of the whole game. We'll record that. We'll edit it out. And then afterwards, we'll come back. We'll give our thoughts, what we think of the game, uh, the pluses, the negatives, and then our overall two cents. Yeah. Um, before we wrap it up and you get to see us play, first things first, with the Clutch Baseball, there's 250 cards in the set, meaning you have all 30 teams in MLB. Uh, you have rares. You have uncommons. You have ultra rare cards also. Let's and see. Can we show the cards? Yeah, go ahead. All right. We go to that camera? Yeah, go to your camera. All right. So that's, I don't know if you can see that or not, because we're, you know, we're professionals, here, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so, like, let me show you a Noah Syndergaard, um, Matt Pitcher, which um, he's good, right? Yeah, that's Thor. All right. He's he's a Met fan. I'm a Yankee fan. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm a big time Yankee fan, but the last couple of years since I've been going to school, <laughs> nice guy, I haven't really been, but I I still follow it up. So I know that this guy is the Met. Let me put it over here, the the Met pitcher. He's one of their top pitchers. Um, but did you guys um, win a World Series in the last couple of years with these um, with these young starting pitchers? Well, What's, we're not gonna get into that in what, this podcast. But what, we got we made it to the 2015 World Series loss to the Royals in seven games. Okay. But right. we're not going down that road. All right. And then, <laughs> and then this guy's uh, Giancarlo Stanton. Yes. Yankee just picked him up. Yep, and that's right. I think you were really happy with that, right? Yeah, I was pretty happy because yeah. the Mets doesn't do nothing. So, <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that. Will Ponce don't sign um, players? No, those All are right. not the Will Ponce. They're called, uh, his name is Will Coupons because <laughs> he likes to get <laughs> players at cheap prices. Right. <laughs> Will Coupons. <laughs> that's the owner of the. <laughs> All right, so All right. we're going to go um, into our gameplay, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back, and we'll give you our thoughts, what we think of the game. Yep. Cool? All right. All right. So how many outs? One out? Yep. One out. Donis Russell. No, Addison Russell. Mm -hmm. See? Uh-oh. Oh, my <laughs> God. Ground ball. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. He's just like in real life, a bum. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna edit that out? No, I'm just saying in real life, he's a bum. <laughs> what if he's what if he's watching the video? Let him watch. I, <laughs> I'm a Met fan. He's a bum. He won the World Series last year. I'm good. Uh, yeah, ground ball. So he's out. And my infield is a 13. What's your speed? A 10, so 15. Out. Double play. A bum. I have not even got a good hit in this game so far. So we at the bottom of the fourth, one one nothing game. Stands up. He's wearing a Yankee uniform. Yeah. A four, oh. five, nine. Oh, see, boy. I ain't draw either. See, you try to play fast. So I don't have to draw. Ready? Okay, if I roll an 18 or higher, home run. Can you believe this crap? <laughs> I hate yeah. this game. <laughs> you know, ground ball. Actually, it's a single. No, it has to be the pitcher's chart. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm rolling on my chart. It's a ground ball? <laughs> yeah. Baltimore chop. Base Good. is empty. Your opponent's shortstop makes a defensive throw against your batters on base. Uh, shortstop is... And that's in Russell plus five. So what is he? The 12, so you need an eight. <laughs> he went whoop and threw it. You're out. <laughs> yeah, that's not the baddest box. Who bats from first base? All right, this is a little confusing. Oh yeah. Chase Hadley, another Yankee. Nine and five got it. Another Yankee. 
17. Fly ball. Fly ball? Mm-hmm. A 17? Yeah, what do you think? Get foul. Okay. Your opponent in fields makes a defensive play. Of what? A 20. Defensive play is a 20. Oh. Out of my defense? Infield. What's your infield? 17? Oh, my infield? Yeah. He's out. It <laughs> <laughs> went like this. Like, like, get off. Get out of the way, you bum. The other way. All right. Kevin Pilar. Six. Five. Got it. Yeah. He came and hit a home run. Nope. Watch him choke under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ground ball on his chart. Another Baltimore chop. Jeez Louise. Someone. <laughs> wow. What is it again? Shortstop? Shortstop. An 11. So you need a 7. <laughs> Backhands. Those the first. You're out. Remember, everyone, drive safe. <laughs> Going home. If you're drinking, right, have your designated driver. <laughs> How many minutes we got? Uh, three. Three minutes, all right? Three minutes. Make this the last inning. Oh, yeah, when you're winning. Yeah, but there's one funny. nothing. Whatever. And if you, if, yeah, if, and if you score two runs, you win. Really? With, with, with Noah Syndergaard, so he gets a negative one? That's what no, you're telling me? No, clutch Yeah. Hit. What are you playing, softball? You didn't... <laughs> All right, fine. Let's do it. But then I can't use him, though, because he's six innings. I'm going to have to take him out. You want nine? No, we did top seven, right? No, bottom seven. Because it's less. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take him out. Top seven, because I'm the top team. Yeah, but we're only playing one in. Yeah, so you, that means you have a. Your home field advantage, so you win if I don't score. All right, so I'm bringing him in. Who's that? Tommy Lane. Ugh. Tommy Lane. Oh wait, I got him. He's a Yankee. Tommy Lane. You're not. You don't know no Yankees. I do know oh, Yankees. Oh my god, you sound like a. <laughs> I don't even remember Tommy Lane. All right. Nah, Let's me, go. Nah, I don't want to play. Oh my god. All right, fine. I'll play him. Bring in your closer if this is the last inning. Sooner. So you get a negative one because it's a clutch moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. Go ahead. Righty, righty. I get a plus one. So they technically a six. Yeah. Go ahead. Got it. 13. Fly ball. I'm gonna have to go to the bench since you made this game a freaking. One minute. Uh, it's gonna turn off. Probably. So can you turn it off and turn it back on just so we can finish this? Um, sure. I'm just worried about the disc. It's not so much the time that worries me. Okay, I'm recording again. All right, cool. I don't know we only have, he only has two, uh, two more batters, so. Yeah. So I'm taking out Marte, and I'm bringing in Chris Carter. Okay. So go ahead. Hmm. One out, right? Righty, righty. I get a plus one. And clutch minus one, so it cancels out. Six and seven, 13. 19. Single. Jason Hayworth. Righty, lefty, so it's a five. Nine and five, 14. 20. Single. Single. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, rally monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> the rally monkeys are coming out. The rally monkeys. Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. All right. Go ahead. I was gonna butt button now. I'm not gonna let it. I'm not gonna let it be. Let's do this. All right. Uh, clutch moment minus one. Oh, clutch moment yeah. minus two. So in righty righty. So I got to. So it cancels out. Mm-hmm. All right. Cancels out, and you get a minus. So I need a nine. 
Got it. 17. Fly ball. I'll take that. Two outs. My big hitter is coming up. It's all up to Chris Davis, my lefty specialist. All right, so. All right, I'm going to. You know what? Sweet spot. Roll the swing with a power die. He's a righty, right? Yep. Yeah, so I'll be using the. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I get a minus one, so five. <gasps> oh, baby! It comes down to this. It comes down to Chris Davis. Come on. And the pitch. A six. Oh, no, no, a nine. A nine. What's a nine? A walk. It's all right. Wait, hold on. Oh, come on. Oh, this son of a motherless <laughs> goat. Son of a... Base is loaded. But with Manny Machado. This is his clutch moment. And he gets a negative one. <laughs> oh, my God. Righty, righty. So, yeah. cancels out. Oh, my God. All right. You ready? Oh, Lord almighty. Come on, Manny. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Strike out. He got him. Oh, Strikes him out. Oh, my God. The Orioles. <laughs> All right, so we just came back from playing the whole game. Um, and we actually played it a couple of times already. So uh, we can give you a, a fairly um, in-depth um, review of the game and what we thought. Uh, for those that don't know how the game is played, it's a very simple concept. Um, you, you have nine innings. Um, we each have a team of 25 players based on a salary um, number. Um, and... The, the standard is 6,000 points, although you can change it. You, yeah. You, and then, you can do an all-star. Which is unlimited points. You can put whoever you yeah, want. Yeah, I mean, all the superstars. Yeah, or you can even maybe make less, uh, like a 20-man roster. So you can change it around. Um, so you basically set up your team. Uh, you also set up your, st your starting rotation. Uh, you set up your bullpen. Um, you set up your bench. Just like it's, it's very... it's. It's very similar to a real baseball game. Yeah. Um, the simulation on this is actually really good. So uh, that's something that we really enjoy with MLB Showdown and then with this one. Um, so the way the game works, if you haven't, if you never played it before, I'm, I'm looking for. Uh, all right. So let me bring out. He's a relief pitcher. Let me find. Eh, let, let's use these two guys. Yeah. This is. All right. So the way the game works is that we have um, starting pitcher, and he has a, a pitching number. Of, of a five. That's his pitch number. Um, and then a uh, batter has an on-base number. In this case, 12. So the way it works is strictly simple. The pitcher rolls a D20 and pitches. And just rolls and then takes that number, adds it to his pitching number for a, a total. And that's his total pitch number. In this case, it would be a 12. right? Then we compare that to the batter's um, on base. Yeah, Stanton's. And in this case, uh, Sean Carlos Stanton has an on base of 12. And the pitcher has to beat that number. A tie goes to the batter. Um, kind of think of like uh, in real baseball, tie goes to, to the runner. Okay, tie goes to the, the batter. Uh, so in this case, um, the batter has advantage because um, the pitcher didn't roll higher than a 12. So because he has an advantage, each pitcher has a, a chart. Uh, I don't know what they call it—a fielding chart, or an on base chart. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's just a, a, a chart. stat chart. A, a stat chart. Yeah. Okay. The pitcher's stat chart, obviously, it, it benefits the pitcher, so it's really hard to get a hit off his stat. The, the batters benefits the batter, and which stat you use depends on who has advantage. So we look at his stat, and then now the batter rolls, and the batter rolls a twenty-sided die again, just just the same die as the pitcher, right? And he rolls. And in this case, a 19. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> so I, I will compare it to um, to his stat. And in this case, we look at 18 plus. It's a home run. So he just hit a home run. <laughs> Off of Noah Syndergaard. Off of Noah Syndergaard. <laughs> I think he did that this year. <laughs> Thinking about it. That's yeah. right. Because uh, Florida, a uh, national league. Yeah. Yeah. Marlins, okay. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So that's that's in its, in its most basic, basic, um, you know, form the mechanics the game mechanic obviously it's more involved in that you take into account righty versus righty lefty versus lefty um 
So you take that into account. Then each player has uh, manager cards, and manager cards can also um, change the outcome of the of the of the bat or the play or the pitch or the play. Yeah. Um, so you can put, so you can also um, modify roles, and that comes into play. They also have, and this is something new for for Clutch that um, MLB show I didn't have, and that is stadium cards. Yeah. In which um, at the beginning of the, of the game. Both players um, decide on one stadium. It's not like two separate stadiums. Mm -hmm. One stadium. In this case, let's pick um, City Field. City Field. Okay, uh, New York National Field. Um, and this gives this can also change the outcome of the game as well. Okay, which it did. If you if you read it. All right. So let's let's look at this. This one says home run on the pitcher's chart is a double. So if Noah Syndergaard had advantage, right? And let's say he rolled a twenty five. The batter roll the twenty, and we'll get to how you can roll higher than the twenty um, in a second. But if you if he happened to roll the twenty five, because they're playing in City Field, that home run turns into a, a double. double. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then also New York batters like um, Cespedes, Reyes, National League yeah. batters, anyone from the Mets. Um, the if that happened to them. Uh, the above is negated, so that means they can still hit a home run. Yeah. So it benefits um, Met players. Okay, so that that's pretty cool uh, about this. So that, in a nutshell, is the game. Obviously, you can do things like um, sacrifice um, Bun bunts. Um, you can also, um, you know, advance runners that you can steal. Um, you can move the infield in um, if there's less than two hours and a man on third. Um, you know, you can substitute pitches. Pitches get tired. Um, so, so it's, it's very well made, uh, the game, but a lot of these rules are from showdown. I mean, it, it is from showdown, but with a twist. Um, and I don't want to completely like, like completely say this is like a, a rip off of showdown. It's not a rip off. They took a lot of the mechanics from showdown and made them better because right. honestly, mm -hmm. I actually had more fun with this than showdown. But the only difference with Showdown is you have the actual major league players on the cards. I guess like it was sponsored by MLB. I guess that's we'll talk about some of the things maybe that we didn't like. Yeah, uh, it, but but right as of right now, in terms of the game itself, maybe we can talk about why um, why is it called Clutch. Well, Clutch is pretty cool because of the clutch moments. Meaning, in every baseball, there's always that one moment. In any baseball game, there's a big moment that could change the game, or the complexion of the game. Um, in terms of the nine innings, seven inning. Uh, we all see it in every baseball game. And there's some players that are clutch yeah. players. Yeah, Nolan Alarado uh, um, from the Colorado Rockies, the third baseman, was super clutch, Gold, Goldsmith. Mariano, I mean, if he was in this game, he would Mariano. be clutch. Yeah, because... he'll be clutch in, in the ninth inning because yeah. he saves. And anyway, with those clutches, it, it, they have negatives and pluses. Let which me see if I can show. Like Noah Syndergaard has a negative one clutch, so yeah. he's not. He never he... passes five innings in a game, and that's why he's negative. Well... Oh, uh, it's inning six. Well, he's six, but in real life, that's why he has the negative. Because okay. if the longer he goes, his fastball dies down, or it becomes meatball pitches, and they go yeah. <laughs> upper deck. Yeah. Um, but but the, the clutch, um, the tri it triggers. Yes. Um, depending on what's going on in the game. Yeah. So from seven inning on, the clutch moment hits in in the whole game, unless the score is two or less. If it's three or more, the whoever is winning do not get the clutch moments. Only the person that's losing the game. Gets the truck, the, the the clutch. Um, no, no, kicked in, no, and no, then bases not, are loaded. Everyone gets. No, it. no, that's not how it works. Yeah. No, no, no. It works yeah. that if it's seventh inning and on, mm -hmm. like the seventh inning and, and and on, if the game is um, two runs or less, if there's a difference of two runs or less, clutch kicks in for all players, not just whoever's losing. So, in other words, let's um let's use this guy. Yeah, actually, let, let's bring someone, someone else. Let's bring um, Matt Scherzer, R R Roberto Osuna. Okay. All right. Let's bring Roberto Osuna, right? Center fielder for for the Blue Jays. Um, he has a clutch of minus one, but let's say that he's that his team is winning, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say that I have. Let's say that I'm I'm winning the game by two runs, and we're in the seventh inning, right? And he's batting. See, he doesn't perform in the clutch. So he will get a minus one, regardless if I'm winning or losing. Right. But if it's three or more. It, now, if the game is three or more, then the clutch doesn't kick in. Yeah, and this for the winning. Take, yeah. So that's how it works. So let's say, uh, let's get a plus clutch. David Hernandez. The relief pitcher. 
Really Fitcher. All right, but Really Fitcher is really yeah, Fitcher. He'll, he'll, yeah. he'll, he'll probably come in, you know, during the... Staten has a plus two. All right, so let, let's do the pitcher <laughs> and then the batter first. Yeah. All right, so let's say that David Hernandez, right, from the Phillies. Let's say that he came in um, as a you know, relief pitcher in the seventh inning, and the game is within two runs. He would get a plus one because he's clutch, which is really good, especially for a relief pitcher. Yeah. You know that means that they perform well under pressure. They don't. They don't usually give up runs. Um, now let's go to Sean Carlos uh, Carlo Stan. Let's say that he's actually in the winning team, and the game is again two runs. He will get a plus two, which means that he performs uh, under um, pressure uh, to get his team, um, you know, uh, to to create the lead in the game. So that's so that's how the clutch works. Now there's also manager cards that can trigger clutch throughout the whole game. So it can be in the beginning of the game. Yep. It can be in the middle of the game. If you have a card um, that would that you can trigger the clutch. So that's how the clutch works, which is actually pretty cool. I think that's the best part of the game is the clutch mm-hmm. um, from, the semi, uh, from the seventh inning on because the game actually starts to form towards the seventh inning on because you start to think. Especially if it's a Yeah, just game. like real baseball because now you have to start thinking on when to use your strategy cards. Because mm-hmm. once the clutch kicks in, and you have to choose wisely on how to build your team. Because I put a team together, and I didn't know about the clutch moments, and almost my whole starting, right? The, my whole was lineup from one through five was all negative from Manny Machado, which we're not going to get into, but I don't know why he's a negative. But, yeah, we had a lot of players that were negatives, and I was like, whoa. But it did go against me because I lost the game, yeah. and you won it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now, um this game, it could be long. Once you know the rules and you don't have to refer back to the rule book and you know your play as well, like you know, the team that you built, the game could, could be under an hour, but it is an average of an hour uh, no because it is every inning. You're playing every inning, so and you're playing manager cards. So, it, again, it's, it's about an hour game, which is which is pretty cool. Um, actually, that's a that's a good length. For for a game for for a car game. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's what the things that we we liked about the game. Maybe we can talk about some of the things that maybe we didn't like about the games. I have a few things I want to talk about. I don't know if you want to start. Um. Stuff that I didn't like about the game was I think they needed more strategy cards. Um. I think the way they based the strategy is only seventy strategy cards in the game, and I think there should have been more. The way they structured the the, the strategy cards. How is it to thrill with it? Because you can have two of, of common and uncommon and then one rare or ultra rare, if you want to uh, say. And again, the chances of you pulling these cards are kind of hard if, if you're building a, a deck around these rare cards and, and ultra rare. Because if you're building a 40 card deck and you're only picking three, what is it? You pick two per 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 inning, right? You pick up two cards no, or one card? No, well, it, um, you start with three cards. Right. Um, your starting hand is three, and then in between innings, each player draws a card. And you cannot have more than seven cards in your hand at any time. Yeah, so the chances of you drawing that one card that you need, it's kind of super hard. Right, so here's the things that um, that I didn't like. And this is not a fault of the designers, obviously. They couldn't do this. But as a fan and as a player, and one of the things that I loved about MLB Showdown oh, was, yeah. was that... Yeah, it was the images, the images of the players um, with their real team. Now I know because of licensing um, issues, trading. It, it, yeah, it's I know it can be very expensive, um, but when you're playing a baseball game and you simulating a real game with real players, you you want to see the pictures. And M will be showing that one of the things that M will be showing that their pic, their, their their cars were really yeah really nice looking, especially the foils. I have some of them. I'll put it up over here while we're talking. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll show like a quick photo of what they look. Yeah, like. and maybe we can put a side by side comparison yeah. just to get an idea. I mean, the cars do the the, the layout is nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you see, and maybe yeah, you can probably put we'll put on a screen. The layout, as we're discussing the layout. Yeah, I mean the layout is nice, especially the um, the, the foils. foils. They're really cool, and the stats is it's simple, it's not too busy, and you can find everything really quickly. Um, so that I like. But again, I, I, you know, if if we had the real, if we had a picture of of Noah Syndergaard here, um, and instead of saying New York nationally, it says Mets. Um, yeah, or him know, in the jersey. Exactly, the I mean, jersey. that that would be you know obviously that would make the game you know it would enhance the game, you know, uh, greatly. 
So, but again, I understand. I just wanted to point that out. All right. <laughs> manager cards. Yeah. I have an issue with the manager cards. And because when you introduce the manager cards, then you start to get into the strategy of the game mm -hmm. that may not be tied to an actual baseball game. Right? Um, and here's where, like, games like Magic the Gathering um, and all those other uh, collectible card games come into play. One of the things that I hate about, or one of the things that I, when I was building decks for Magic Gatherings, I, I hated trigger cards. I hated putting cards in my deck that when you pick it up, you can only use it if either you have another card or something is going on. Mm -hmm. I wanted each card to always have something. I, I could always play them no matter it. what. Like I didn't have to wait for something to trigger that card. I can always play them. A lot of these cards, you can't play them Unless something is happening, and that thing happening in the game, it's very rare. So you get stuck with a lot of cards in your hand that um, you really can't play. I mean, that's my experience. I mean, we played this game maybe three or four times uh, this week. But it was similar to the, the Showdown game. Um, well, Showdown, honestly, one thing that Showdown did with their uh, strategy cards, they based it on the, on the players. Meaning, I remember one card game called Flame uh, something uh, uh, in the zone. And if you put it on your starting pitcher, he gets a plus one or plus two to his roll. Mm -hmm. But you left it there until he got a hit or a walk. Those are cards that you need to have in this game. They yeah. have it on this, but it has to trigger after you throw a strike, which yeah. is weird. Because I'm like, well, if you're in the groove, yeah. that's what it was called, in the groove. And I'm okay, like, I, yeah, I remember, that. remember that one? That you just put it. But again, I mean... But but in, in, I, I can see that once once these cards start to get out of hand, the game can get out of hand. Yeah. And then it no longer becomes a simulated baseball game. Um, the problem when when you start changing the game around a lot. Yeah. And then it, then it doesn't become a, a simulated baseball game. I understand that. But 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 we're all playing a game, and you want to have fun playing the game. And sometimes you know if you can put up up to a plus five on a batter when he's getting ready to hit a home run, you know, it, yeah. You know, chances of that happening might not be great, but since you're playing a game, you want that. So that's what happened in MLB The Show, Showdown. It, it got a little out of yeah, hand. Yeah, remember you kept throwing and stacking and stacking. And yeah, it was like and you plus can't, eight. Yeah, I don't think you can. You can't you, do that on this yeah. unless you have the the home run slugging logo, yeah. MVP logo, K. Golden yeah, that, Glove. yeah. They each have different symbols. Mm -hmm. Um, like um, you know, he's a strikeout. Strikeout. So he got K. He yeah. has the K. So. But certain cards trigger, which those are cool. And I don't like. I don't mean going like they had one called Apple Power. Mm -hmm. Those are cool if the home run logo on it gives you a plus five because actually hitting an opposite field home run is really hard to hit. Mm -hmm. So for a card like that, if you have a slugging logo or, or a home run logo, that should be a plus five on your on your swing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do that, yeah. which I'm a little. I'm like, oh, and you can only have one card of that on yeah. your thing. So that's where I understand where you're coming from because some of these strategy cards you're scratching your head like yeah I'm um, thinking yesterday I, I robbed the home run from you yeah that was one in the in the deck so yeah like you're like wait yeah, really? when, when it, and how many home runs do you hit in a game right but the like, chances are like you should have that in your arsenal like one or two because mm -hmm. sometimes it could be a home run derby game like yeah. we don't know because you're rolling yeah but like in real games you see the outfielder running and try to make the catch mm -hmm. so. That's the only nitpick I got, but yeah, it's weird. I understand some of the rules on these games are weird. Like triple play is hard. Yeah, like I know that I had I had this one card, uh, backdoor slider, right? Uh, lefty versus lefty, which is a cool card, but I had a right-handed pitcher out. So the, and I drew this at the beginning of the game. Um, and you're probably asking, well, why did you have that card in your deck? But I know that because you know you have to build a starting five, and you want to have. You know, in your starting rotation, you want to have left-handers and, and, and right-handed pitches. Mm -hmm. So I drew this card, and, and I was stuck with this card um, well, throughout the, the whole game. Tell them what the card does. Yeah, it, it says play before the pitch, lefty versus lefty. That's it. So that's the trigger. Yeah. You have to have a left-handed pitcher, and you have to go against a left-handed batter. But my starting pitcher was right-handed. And, and I your drew, bullpen is right-handed. And, so. I, and I drew this at the beginning of the game. So this, so this became a dead card. Throughout the whole game, like I couldn't just discard it, um, so so it was stuck. So I like games that have strategy cards in which the card is not a dead weight card. You could have done something like maybe um, discard this card um, to not to draw another one, but something something that you can. The card is still not useless, totally useless. 
you know? So some sort of mechanic where the strategy cards... Has like, two benefits? Yeah, you can still use it, even if there's nothing triggering. Something like that. Well, they um, should have made it righty versus righty also, because righties could throw backdoor sliders. But they have they have a card that does that. That's the it's cutter. A, it's a different card. Isn't it the cutter? The cutter. See, this one is uh, righty versus righty or lefty versus lefty. Yeah, see, okay, that so this, triggers both. Okay, so this one would trigger faster than the backdoor slider. So I don't know why we, we would put backdoor slider on, on your strategy card when you, you can only put 40 cards in there. Maybe the designers can kind of, um, maybe comment yeah, when we someone can comment yeah. on it. Why would they put cards that trigger and where the triggering mechanism or what triggers it, like, almost will never happen? That, that, that's, that was my complaint. Uh, look, guys, overall, this game is fun. If you're a big baseball fan, it's a great card game. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, we're picking up 18. Uh, hands down, we're, we're going to pick up 2018's version if they come out with one. Because now all, most of our players are all getting traded. I mean, we're in the offseason now, so people are signing in new teams, yeah. trading. Mm-hmm. So the card game is fun. It's a it's a cool thing to play with your friend if you're, you're a baseball fan. Um, but there's a lot of strategy with it. Um, the more you play, I bet you get to see the strategy. And um, and that will be and it will be the same thing with us. Yeah. I think the more we play, the more we see the strategy, maybe some of the initial reactions that we had will change. might will change. Yeah. Um, but we're giving you a reaction based on two things. One, uh, being fans of the MLB showdown. And two, uh, just, just playing a couple of games and giving our initial reaction of the game. Because if the game wasn't fun, then there's no point of keep playing it, obviously, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like it. I, I, I had fun with this. I even played it with my wife. So this was actually a fun game. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, like I said, you get into it, and and and, and you do take your seventh inning stretch. I don't know if we did that. <laughs> and uh, the seventh no, inning, you get no, drinks. We, didn't. we forgot yeah. to talk about one thing though. What the power? The dice. dice. Oh yeah, that. Okay, that's uh, one thing I had beef with. All right. Well, well the, the 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 concept itself is good. No, it's a great okay. concept, but right. I just think the dice itself. Because me and you played it, and we were getting annoyed with the yeah. rolls uh, and, on that thing. And this is something different than um, me bring up a player, right? Don't we have a player? What? Um. Okay, so the, let's talk about the power die, right? The power die is really cool, um, and which wasn't a, a game mechanic in MLB Showdown. This is something new for, for Clutch. Mm-hmm. Um, you, a pitcher can throw a mistake pitch. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. It, you can see it right here um, in his stat, uh, which is in red. And it's usually one, or one, two, or one, two, and three. Um, that's how bad they are. <laughs> like, if it goes one, two, and three, that means that pitcher has no control at all. Yeah. Okay, so, so if let's say that the pitcher, you know, pitches. Oh, <laughs> you almost got it. Too. Yeah, I got it too. David Hernandez. Oh, there you go. All right, so Boom. David Hernandez has a, a one or two, right? And I just roll a two. That's a mistake pitch. If there's a mistake pitch, then instead of ro- then the batter rolling a twenty sided die, batter rolls a twenty four sided die. Now, before um, I, I get into the die. <laughs> I'm I'm a long time Dungeons and Dragons fan. I grew up playing Dungeons and Dragons, so I've seen every weird looking die. I see, you know, um, four sided, six sided, eight sided, ten sided, twelve sided, hundred sided, and I'm not talking about two ten sided in which acts as a hundred sided. I I actually have a hundred sided die which is like this big, and you roll hundred sided. So I've seen them all. I've never seen a twenty four sided die That's before weird. until Clutch. Yeah, never seen a twenty four sided. So it looks like a twenty sided. But when you roll it, it's very, <laughs> it's very hard to is. tell um, what you rolled. All right, so I'm gonna put that on pause. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but since now you have four extra numbers, and it's a power die, you have a better chance of rolling a higher number uh, for the batter. That is cool. So that's why. Well, some, not on the pitcher, on the hitter's box. Yeah, on, on, hit, on the hitter's box. You're yeah. Using Noah. And then there's some. There's some strategy cards that say to roll the, the power die instead of the 20 Yeah, die. that's cool. That is cool. The All only right. thing is, is trying to figure out what number you rolled is the problem. And I think they should have came out with an app, like a clutch baseball app for power hitting for yeah. people that don't want to use the dice. And we looked at some apps where they we can customize nothing. like a D24. We couldn't find anything. Nothing. So we're pretty much stuck with this. I know that there's other companies that make a D24. I was looking online that's supposed to be better than a 24. Um, what I would have done, again, coming from playing um, role-playing games, tabletop role-playing games, uh, like Dungeons & Dragons and Savage Worlds, and one of, the, one of the fun things about those type of games is rolling a lot of dice, Yeah. especially Savage Worlds. If you're a fan of Savage Worlds, you're rolling a lot of dice. So what they should have done, what I would have done, 
was I would have rolled a 20-sided die yeah, with plus. with a four-sided die. Roll maybe them both can, together. Maybe you can still do that. Well, the only thing is that you, you can't roll a one. The, the lowest number you can roll is a two. Mm. Which... Which I don't think it will be will be, it'll be a, a strikeout regardless. Yeah. So if I, you're a hitter and you have the advantage, you'll be it'll be a strikeout on your list. If yeah, you it'll a be two. a strikeout, a yeah. two or a one, depending on your hitter. But there might be a uh, there might be a uh, there might be a, a, a batter we haven't seen. See, here's a batter, right? That um, a two is a ground ball. It's a ground ball, so it screws so, you over. So yeah, um, that's I mean that's what I would have done. I would have added the, the extra die, the four sided, and maybe changed the stats a little bit where the one um, doesn't count. I don't know. Something like that. The 24 sided die, I'm not a fan of. I'm a fan of the concept and the mechanics of it. That's awesome. But I'm not a fan of the actual design yeah, yeah, I don't... Off, off the 24 sided die. So that's that's my, my gripe with that. Maybe we should roll the 20 the sided and the four sided. Because that's what I might do. Dice, yeah, I'd rather do awesome. that. Yeah, actually, that's something. And maybe we, if we have the creators on, we can talk to them. House, <laughs> House rules. rules. You have yeah. a twenty sided and, and, and a, a four sided. Four. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd rather do that. I mean, yeah. That makes no sense. That dice at all. Like we were playing, and we did not know if we hit a home run. We did not know if we struck. Yeah. It was one of those things that we were just guessing at this point mm -hmm. with these dice. Yeah. So it was so, very difficult. Yeah. Very like difficult. you threw it on the thing. I don't know if it was yeah, a twenty uh, or a seven. Yeah, let me roll. That's a thirteen, right? I think so. I don't even yeah, know. It could see, be a twenty-four. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and when you're rolling dice, right, you tend to pick up. Oh, it's a two. You tend yeah. to like. Let's say I'm rolling a twenty-seven, right? I can easily pick it up and not lose the position of what I rolled, right? I rolled a This one you, don't you know can't, what, especially yeah. when you roll far. And for old dudes like us who can't see, you know, I, I mean, like, yeah. okay, what is that? And a if one, I pick it up, I, now I don't know what I rolled. No, it's not. It looked like a bingo thing. I either rolled a 12 or a 14. Yeah, or 23 or a 1. And if we were yeah. cheating, we would say, hey, I rolled a 14. Uh, a 23? <laughs> well, no, no, no. Not, well, not like that. I mean, I'll look, cheat like that. See? It's either a 6 or a 20. Yeah. And I can say, hey, I rolled a 20. That's what I would have done. <laughs> in a tournament, remember that's what we do. In <laughs> that's tournament. true. In tournament, I mean, yeah. If if you yeah. if this is a tournament game and you're rolling this, I mean, the the, the chances of, of cheating is off the chart. I just think they need a better way for the twenty four sided. If Clutch Baseball could come out with an app, a free app that's a twenty four sided electronic uh, twenty twenty anybody a D, a D twenty and a D four. Yeah, or they could change that, make it go. You know, if you guys want to play twenty sided with a D four, then that's cool. Because when this kicks in. You get excited. Oh, we got mad you, excited. You get excited. But then you roll and, a one, you like, yeah. I don't know if it's a one or a 12 or, yeah. It's and if weird. you pick up two dice yeah. to roll, it's, that, yeah. yeah it's I mean, better odds. One of the things with Savage Worlds, um, and I'm, I'm going into role playing land right now, real quick. <laughs> role playing land. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Dungeons and Dragons is awesome, but my personal favorite has been Savage Worlds. And if you play Savage Worlds, you roll, you roll multiple dice. Mm -hmm. And not only do you roll multiple dice, but whenever you roll the highest number of a die, um, it, it, it explodes, right? You ace, which means you pick it up and roll it again and you add it. And if you roll the highest again, you keep rolling. Until that's you, awesome. Yeah. And that, and that, I mean, it, it creates moments in the game that's just a lot of fun. But anyway, when but, but we, you also roll multiple dice. So if I'm rolling two dice to look at a chat, that's awesome. I, I would definitely, you know what? We, we should try the next game we play. We'll I think do we'll it do with 20 and a D4. 20 and a D4. Yeah. Um, other than that, like I said, this game is great. I, hands down... It's one of the, I think this is the only baseball game on the market that's actually fun. Because we tried other no, ones. No, no, th there's another card game. Um, all right, so this game is called Bottom of the Night. So there's another card game. Um, I saw this a couple of years ago when I was in Gen Con, and I, they were playing it, and it's and it's a really fun, fast-paced game. But this game is different than something like this. Okay? It's not that simulated in terms of like um, like real players. It uses, um, you know, homemade players. Um, it's very old fashioned. Yeah, like it is. Like if you look at the cards, and the cards are really cool. They look like like um, like old tops baseball cards. Yeah. The ones that used to come with bubble like gum. a Mickey Mantle and yeah. Bay Roofs. Let me see if I can. Okay, and then maybe you can probably put some of these cards. Yeah. All right, Let's and um, one. and the way this game plays is that you just play the bottom of the ninth. So you're just playing, not even a full inning, you're playing half an inning, the bottom of the ninth. Yep, that's it. Um, the game is tied, um, and 
if you in either you're pitching or you're batting, that's it. You don't you don't switch sides at all. Either you're pitching or you're batting. If you're pitching, you win the game. If the the other team doesn't score, the game says that it that the game goes in extra innings and eventually you win. If you're the batter, you win if you score at least one run. Yeah. Because this tie game is bottom of the ninth. And that's and that's how it works. Um so it's 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 a fun game. So there are the other baseball games out there. I prefer that do exist. I, I prefer this game because I like controlling everything. And, and and I like taking my time or strategy and even having fun. Like we had we have a blast. I mean, we talk smack to each other, but that's always baseball. But I like controlling. I like the, the like again. I like the strategy if they could change it up a bit. Um, the cards. I again, everything about this game screams MLB the Show, but with a major twist. And Show, I love uh, the showdown. I mean, I mean, sorry, yeah, MLB Showdown with a major twist. And I think the clutch baseball hit it on the nail with this game. I think it's a really fun yeah. game. And if you guys if, if you guys like this review, you like this talking about this, and you like watching us play the game, um, one of the things we're thinking is maybe doing another video in which we start talking how to build a deck, um, or maybe some of the players themselves, where we think like maybe we can make a, a video on the top pitchers. Um, or you know, and, and when we say top pitchers, we don't mean top pitchers in the real like and in real baseball. We're talking about the top pitchers in the game, like how they pertain to the game, which ones are good based on their stats, something like that. And um, so if you like it, sub- first of all, subscribe to Wide Range Media. Um, you know, help us build that subscription list. Um, also, check out some of the other videos that we do, especially our movie reviews. Um, check out our live weekly um, episode that we do. We do every Wednesday night at 9 Eastern time. Uh, we do a, a one-hour live YouTube um, YouTube video uh, in which we talk about movies, TV, news, um, news, music, sometimes. Yeah. Music. But in terms of videos like this, we'll do more. Um, yeah. Leave a That's comment um, if something that you like and you enjoy and you want us to do more. Um, we'll definitely do that. Um, we love playing games. Um, we love sports. And... And those two always, you know, sports games, um, they're always out there. A lot of them don't work. Um, they don't capture the feel this of, of an action. This one does. Yeah, this one uh, does. This one definitely captures the feel of, of a baseball game. And that's cool, especially as a sports fan. Mm-hmm. It really does capture the feel and the spirit of the game. So that's really cool. You remember um, the whole Showdown series that Wizards of the Coast did mm-hmm. after baseball? They did the football one. Yeah, that wasn't good. If you guys know, it, oh, it was a it was a disaster. It, it was, was really bad because you had a scanner and you had to scan the cards and, and this it is, determined and where this is it before goes. Before iPhones or smartphones, yeah, no, this and was all a, that. it was an actual box that you <laughs> scanned and it never scanned and it never scanned because me and him kept uh, he had Peyton Manning. I always remember because you got mad excited and he kept scanning and scanning and scanning and, <laughs> and kept getting madder and, 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 never, and it never worked. No, and oh, the game was. Was um, all, actually all. another one that was pretty good was NBA Showdown. That was actually pretty good, I, but you had to buy a lot of packs to put a team together. Well, that was the problem with collectible card games back then. Yeah, that was during the explosion of collectible card games. You yeah. spent tons of money. Here, yeah, you buying packs, but you can buy the whole collection in a box. Well, which is one cool. thing that MLB Showdown never. Got me a little frustrated because I always collected all of them. Like you knew I was going crazy. Yeah, you had to chase them cards. Yeah. But the problem that they they ran into was they made the trading deadline expansion. Remember that? And it was halfway during July or whatever. That's when all these players got traded, and then you have to go and buy more packs because you wanted them in a different jersey. So that even got you even more matter. I remember A Rod was on the the Texas. And, he, and then that, he, got the year he got to the, traded to, to the, the Yankees. Yankees. Yeah. And then he was laughing because I was going crazy looking for A-Rod in the Yankee jersey, which I found him, but it was just like, yeah, that was another thing that got me turned off a little bit about the game, but it was a very fun game. The thing about the the base, the, the basketball one that I didn't like, it played in quarters. Yeah, well. And yeah. again, it didn't simulate the game. The actual, yeah. The, the actual, oh, an actual basketball game. And they never did a soccer one. 
And we're, we're big soccer fans, too. I don't know how you could simulate a soccer game. In, in I, I don't know. I think you could. Maybe, maybe <laughs> that's something we should do. We should figure it out. Yeah, don't steal our be... idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clutch, people. Yeah, no, don't steal uh, yeah. it, clutch. Oh, you might steal We're going to do a clutch soccer. It's called messy rules. It, 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 it clutch. <laughs> huh? it, it clutch. El clutch. El cloche. We'll call it, we'll call it in Spanish. El cloche. El cloche. El cloche football. El football de cloche. Right. So, so that's what we're going to do. No, anyway. it's a joking. Yeah. Um, but this, this definitely captures uh, the baseball game well but if if anyone from clutch baseball sees the video comment please leave us uh um, yeah if you want to you know maybe we can do something yeah even on twitter at wide range media you could tweet at us a direct message send us free cards yeah you can send us some free stuff so we can test it out like aaron judge i want to see how he plays out in this game why you keep picking aaron judge man no i want to see how he plays out i mean he has to have a 17 home run his cave was probably like one through six. Hit who? Aaron Judge? One through 12. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Judge on base of nine. <laughs> no, his down, no, his, he would have a high on base. All right, he'll be but a his, 10. His, his, no, one through 10, come on. No, no, no. His on base would be an 11, Aaron Judge. On base of 11 with his strikeout one through 10. What was his on base percentage this year? He's not in the game. No, no, I'm talking about in real life. Oh, in real life? Yeah, what was it on base? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, right, we, we we're totally to you out. I know, right? <laughs> we're Wait, arguing. Yeah, yeah, give us a second. Hold yeah, on. give it one what, second. What was his on base? I don't remember his on base. You got your phone. Look at All up. right, but I'm, I'm looking at these guys, and their case is like, one, one, oh, here's Blake training. He's a relief pitcher. Oh, really? Okay, see, sometimes it's hard to, to see what infield. Yeah, see, the case of one... One, one. That's what I'm saying. One like, and two. Ryan Flatt- Flattery. He's a utility player. One and two. See? That's a, like Aaron I said, Judge if is... the creator of the game, I would like to, please get in touch with us because we really want to have you on the show because there's a lot of questions I, 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 I want to ask about these stats. How they come up with the yeah, stats. Yeah, because, again, in baseball, I think this year, I mean, well, this past generation, these hitters are all striking out a lot. So mm-hmm. they can't be one and two strikeouts. You understand what I mean? Like, they should be one through ten, one through eight, one through nine. And that's what MLB Showdown did also. Certain players did get one through eight or one through nine. Mm-hmm. But then certain clutch, like, oh, remember Barry Bonds? His well, home run was, was 14, uh, was it 15 or 20? Yeah. I mean, and, and we always walk them. Yeah, because his on base was a 15. I was yeah, like, there's nothing you can do. Them. Albert Pujols was a beast. Remember when he won the MVP? He had mm-hmm. MVP, Golden yeah. Glove, Slugger. Home run icon, but anyway, and that's, that's pretty cool about this. When if you walk someone, the next batter gets a plus two. That I like. That a is lot. pretty cool. That I like yeah. a lot. And mm-hmm. another thing I do like. I mean, I know we went there, but I could cut it around. One thing I do like is the double play. Was it double play no, that we were um, talking about? Um, oh, the sac- bunting. The, bun, the, bun. the bunting is one of the best mechanics I think in yeah, this the game. Yeah, the bunt is pretty cool. It feels like a real game, especially when he played barehanded the card on me, because it mm-hmm. felt like a real, like yeah. a real, like mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. So, because if you, if if you got two strikes, you can't bunt. No, because you'll you'll get yeah. And you can't bunt from second to third. That's another thing that I thought it was pretty yeah. cool, which you could, but eh, whatever. That's <laughs> that's a rule they put in. But yes, other than that, guys, you could tweet at us at Wide Range Media. Uh, you can email us at Wide Range Media Podcast yep. at Gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. Creators of the game, just leave us anything from <laughs> at the at the email or tweet because we really want to know more about this game yep. and the two thousand and eighteen. Maybe you can send us some promos. Uh, so we could test out. All so. right. Thank you. Thank you for watching.